Oh. Okay, so today we're going to do a deep dive on uh, Grant Cardone. All right. This guy's all over the place, right? Books, videos, articles, yeah. courses, you name it. Yeah, he's everywhere. So we dove into a, a bunch of it, right? Tried to really figure out, like, what's the core of what this guy's talking about? Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we want to figure out, like, what of it is is really useful for people out there listening. Right. And is there any way to sort of, like, improve on it? Or is he kind of got it all figured out already. Exactly. So one of the first things that really struck me is just how much Cardone really embodies what he talks about. Oh, yeah. He walks the walk for sure. Yeah. You know, you see it even in that uh, that YouTube video we watch where he's like confronting the reporter. Oh, right. Yeah. About that lawsuit that got dismissed. Yeah. And you can just like even reading the transcript, you can just feel the energy. Yeah. He's like intense and confident and he's not afraid to kind of like push back yeah i think that's that's one of the first things you notice about him is that he's got this very strong personality strong personality and i think that kind of leads into one of his main ideas is this whole like mm -hmm. you know if you're not first your last mentality yeah that's like his big thing right yeah he's all about like dominance and being number one and he seemed a little bit cutthroat yeah a little bit cutthroat yeah Especially in today's world. Especially in today's world where everybody's all about collaboration and, you know, kind of being, you know, working together. Kumbaya. Yeah. Exactly. But he's like, no, you got to be number one. <laughs> got to be number one. Crush the competition. And that kind of leads into his whole thing about, like, controlling your own economy. Right. Where he's like, forget about, you know, what's happening in the stock market or whatever. Right. Just focus on what you can control. Be proactive. Right. Yeah. Be proactive. Take responsibility. And make your own success. Yeah. Don't let the external factors hold you back. Yeah. And that's and that's a really empowering message, you know, for a lot of people. But it's also kind of like, you know, there's there's a danger of sort of like blaming individuals for maybe problems that are bigger than them. Yeah. There's yeah. definitely a balance. Right. Yeah. You can't just say like, oh, it's all on you if you're not succeeding. Like, right. There are systemic factors at play sometimes, too. Yeah. And that's something that his critics bring up a lot is like, oh, yeah, you know, he kind of downplays those external factors yeah. and puts too much emphasis on just like individual hustle. Right. But to be fair to him, he does talk about, you know, going door to door during a recession. Oh, yeah. He's got that story where yeah. he was like, you know, times were tough, but I still went out there and made it happen. Right. So he's not completely ignoring the fact that there are like external factors external factors but he's saying like don't let them stop you you still got to take control yeah you still got to do what you got to do so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a nuanced message right. it's not just like oh it's all on you it's not black and white but it's also not like oh you know the world is against you right so there's definitely like a, a middle ground there it's finding that balance and I think that's where it gets really interesting. Yeah. Is like, how do you how do you take that message right. and apply it in a way that's both empowering. Right. But also realistic. Right. And it kind of leads into another one of his big things, which is sales. Oh, he's all about sales. He is all about sales. And, you know, he says that everybody is selling something. Right. Whether you realize it or not. Even if you don't have like a product to sell. Yeah. Even if you don't think of yourself as a salesperson. You're selling yourself. You're selling something. Your ideas. Right. You're selling your ideas to your boss. Yeah. You're selling you know, your plans to your friends or your family. You're selling your kids on eating their vegetables. That's exactly. It's all sales. It's all sales. And that's all about persuasion and influence. Yeah. And he has this really funny story about like how he basically sold himself to his wife. Oh, yeah. I read that. Yeah. That was a good one. And it just shows how he like applies this mindset to like every aspect of his life totally it's not just like a business thing for him it's like it's a life philosophy it's a life philosophy yeah he's always closing he's always closing even with his wife even with his wife yeah which is kind of funny but also maybe a little maybe a little creepy maybe a little creepy like yeah like when does it start the, right yeah like there? where's the line between like personal life yeah, your I personal agree. life and like the sales pitch. Yeah, exactly. And and I think that's one of the questions that comes up a lot with him is like, yeah. how far is too far? Like, when does it become manipulative or inauthentic? Yeah, because there's definitely a fine line there, yeah. you know, between being persuasive and being pushy. Yeah. <laughs> between being confident and being arrogant. Exactly. And I think that's one of the things we want to kind of explore in this deep dive. Yeah. It's like, where where is that line? And how do you how do you sort of like walk that tightrope without falling off? Yeah, without becoming like a caricature of yourself, a caricature of yourself or like a used car salesman. Right. Exactly. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. So it's about finding that sweet spot. Right. Between 
being effective, but also being authentic, authentic and ethical yeah. and, you know, treating people with respect. Yeah. And that kind of leads into one of his most famous ideas, which is the 10X rule. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. Where he's basically saying, like, go big or go home. Yeah. Go big or go home. Whatever you think you need to do, multiply it by 10. 10x everything. Yeah. And that can seem a little bit overwhelming. Overwhelming and maybe even a little bit... Unrealistic. Unrealistic for some people. Yeah. For some people, it's like, how am I supposed to do 10 times more than I'm already doing? Right. But I think the idea behind it is really about, like, pushing past your comfort zone. Yeah. And not being afraid to, like... Set big goals. Set big goals and really go for it. And take massive action. Yeah. And not be afraid to fail. Because if you're not failing, you're probably not... Pushing yourself hard enough. Pushing yourself hard enough. Right. So there's something to be said for that. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to be so afraid of failure that you never actually try anything. Right. You got to be willing to put yourself out there and... Take some risks. Take some risks and see what happens. And who knows? You might surprise yourself. Yeah, you might actually hit that 10x goal. You might actually achieve those crazy dreams. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's where the 10x rule is really powerful. Yeah. It's about shifting your mindset from like scarcity to abundance exactly like instead of thinking like oh i can't do that right it's like what if i could what if i could do 10 times more what if i could do 10 times more what would that look like right and that's where the magic happens yeah and that's where the magic happens when you start thinking bigger and you start thinking bigger and you start taking bolder actions yeah and i think that's something that cardone is really good at is like getting people to think bigger yeah and to not be afraid to like really go for it yeah he's a master motivator for sure yeah so that's kind of like the the core of his philosophy right is this like dominance control your own economy 10x everything and don't be afraid to be unreasonable yeah and that unreasonable thing is like a whole other worms can of worms yeah because he's all about like challenging the status quo challenging the status quo not being afraid to to break the rules yeah break the rules and kind of like do things your own way right and that can be really effective yeah but it can also be dangerous dangerous if you're not careful yeah. So I think that's something we're going to kind of delve into a little bit deeper is like, yeah. how do you. How do you know when to be unreasonable? Yeah. How do you know when to be unreasonable? And when to maybe like. Tone it down a little. Tone it down a little bit. Yeah. And be a little bit more. Diplomatic. Di- diplomatic. Exactly. <laughs> because you don't want to alienate people. Right. You don't want to burn bridges. Yeah. You don't want to end up like. Alone on an island. Alone on an island with nobody to sell to. Right. Exactly. So there's a there's a balance there. Yeah. For sure. I think that's what we're going to try to figure out. All right. I'm in. Okay, good. Let's dive in. Let's do it. All right. So one of the things that I found really interesting is how he completely flips the script on how we usually think about price. Oh, yeah. He's got some interesting ideas about that. Yeah. He's like, price is not the problem. Right. It's not the reason people aren't buying from you. Yeah. Most people are like, oh, I got to lower my price. Right. Got to be competitive. Got to be competitive. Got to offer the lowest price. Yeah. And he's like, no, that's that's totally wrong. Wrong approach. Yeah. You got to focus on value. Value. You got to show people why your product or service is worth paying a premium for. Okay. So that's easy to say. Right. But how do you actually do that? That's the million dollar question, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got this whole philosophy about. Give, give, give. Give, give, give. Right. Which sounds kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, it does. But he's basically saying like... Over-deliver. Over-deliver. Yeah, give people more than they expect. Right. And they'll be happy to pay for it. Exactly. And he uses his own software. A pencil. A pencil as an example. Right. Where he basically like overloaded it with features. Way more than anyone expected. Yeah. And people loved it. And it actually like boosted his profits. Yeah, it's like the opposite of what you would think. Right. You think like, oh, I got to like... Strip it down. Strip it down to the bare minimum. Make it as cheap as possible. Yeah. But he's like, no, give them everything. Give them everything. And they'll be happy to pay for it. Yeah. And I think there's something to be said for that. There is. Because people are looking for value. Right. They're not just looking for the cheapest thing. They want to feel like they're getting a good deal. Yeah. But they also want to feel like... They're getting something special. Something special. Something that's going to actually help them solve their problems. Solve their problems and make their lives better. Exactly. So I think that's a really interesting concept. It is. This whole give, give, give thing. You give, give, give. And it kind of ties back to his whole idea of like building relationships. Right. It's not just about... Like the transaction. It's about building long-term relationships with your customers. With your customers. And giving them so much value that they keep coming back for more. Yeah. And they become like... Evangelists for your brand. Yeah, exactly. Tell all their friends. Yeah. You're amazing. Yeah. 
you got to check this out. And that's ultimately how you build a successful business. Right. It's not just about like closing that one deal. It's about creating a loyal following yeah. of people who love what you do yeah. and who are happy to pay you for it. Yeah. Exactly. And I think that's something that a lot of people miss. Yeah. They get so focused on like the short term. Right. The quick sale. The quick buck. Yeah. The quick buck that they forget about. The long game. The yeah. long game. Right. And building something that's actually sustainable. Right. So that's another key takeaway from Cardone. Definitely right. Is this whole like give, give, give philosophy. Yeah. Give more than you take. Yeah. And it might seem counterintuitive. Right. But it actually could be really effective. It can. If you do it right. Right. Okay. So we've talked about the give, you give philosophy. Right. But Cardone also has this whole thing about being unreasonable. Oh, yeah. Which sounds a little bit intimidating. It does a little bit. Like, I don't want to be unreasonable. Right. Nobody wants to be like that crazy person right. who's like yelling and screaming and making demands. Right. But that's not really what he means. Right. He's talking about like being willing to... Challenge conventional wisdom. Challenge conventional wisdom. Yeah. yeah. And not be afraid to like... Go against the grain. Go against the grain and do things. Your own way. Your own way, Very good. your own way, even if it means like rocking the boat a little bit, rocking the boat a little bit. Yeah. And he points to people like Steve Jobs but as yeah. examples of people who were considered unreasonable. Right. But who ultimately achieved great things. Yeah, because they were willing to break the rules, break the rules, challenge the status quo. Yeah. And think differently. Exactly. So I think there's something to be said for that. There is. Like sometimes you do need to be a little bit unreasonable. Right. To get what you want. To stand out. To stand out. To make a difference. To make a dent in the universe. Yeah, exactly. But the question is, yeah. how do you do that without being a jerk? Right. How do you know right. when you're being like... Effectively unreasonable. Effectively unreasonable. And when you're just being... A jerk. A jerk. Yeah. Because there's definitely a difference. Yeah. And I think that's something that we need to kind of... Explore. Explore, yeah. Like, what are the <laughs> boundaries of unreasonableness? Like, yeah. how far can you push it? Yeah. Before you cross the line. Before it backfires. Before it backfires, yeah. Before people are like, okay, this guy's just nuts. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. So it's a delicate balance, for yeah. sure. And I think it depends a lot on, your like... Your personality. Your personality. Yeah. Your industry. Your audience. Yeah. Your audience, like who you're dealing with. Right. Because what might be unreasonable in one context right. might be totally fine in another. Exactly. So it's all about like reading the room. Reading the room and knowing your audience. And knowing yourself. And knowing yourself. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like what are you comfortable with? Exactly. What are your boundaries? What are your values? Yeah. And what are you willing to do? To achieve your goals. To get what you want. Yeah. Because sometimes you do have to be willing to ruffle some feathers. <laughs> yeah. To make a difference. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that Cardone is really good at. Yes. He he's like, he's not afraid to ruffle feathers. He's not afraid of and, anything. Yeah. He's like, I want to do what I got to do. Right. And if you don't like it. Too bad. Too bad. So long. So long. Because he, yeah. And that's a very powerful attitude. Attitude to have. It is. Especially in business. Especially in business. Because you're going to face a lot of rejection. Right. You're going to face a lot of people who tell you no. You're going to have to deal with difficult people. Yeah. Difficult situation. So you got to be able to like brush it off, brush it off and keep going and keep moving forward. Yeah. And not let it get to you. And I think that's something that Cardone embodies. Yeah. Is this like unstoppable? Yeah. This unstoppable force. Source of nature. Yeah. Like he's just going to keep going no matter what. Right. And I think that's inspiring. It is. To a lot of people. Yeah. Like even if you don't agree with everything he says right you got to admire his hustle, his right. hustle his drive his tenacity yeah, his tenacity his unwillingness to give up yeah he's like a dog with a bone yeah he's like i'm gonna get this right no matter what no matter what it takes so that's something we can all learn from definitely even if we don't want to be as like in your face in your face as he is right we can still learn from his work ethic work ethic yeah his mindset his belief in himself yeah and his ability to like make things happen. Make things happen. Yeah. He's a doer. He's a doer. He's not just a talker. Yeah. And I think that's what ultimately sets him apart. Yeah. From a lot of the other like gurus and experts. Gurus and experts out there. Right. Because a lot of them are just like talking heads. Right. They're all theory. Yeah. They're all theory and no action. No action. But Cardone is like, 
He's out there doing it. Yeah, he's out there doing it. He's building businesses. Yeah. He's making deals. He's writing books. He's creating content. He's doing it all. He's living the dream. He's living the dream. And he's showing other people how to do it too. Yeah, and that's what I think is really inspiring yeah. about him is that he's not just like... Preaching from a pedestal. Yeah, he's like... He's in the trenches. He's in the trenches with you. Right. And he's showing you... It's like, just how you do it. This is how you do it. This is what works. Yeah. This is what doesn't work. And he's not afraid to like... Get his hands dirty. Get his hands dirty, yeah. He's not afraid to fail. Yeah. He's not afraid to make mistakes. And he's not afraid to... Share those mistakes. Share those mistakes with you. Right. So you can learn from them. So you don't have to make the same ones. Yeah. And I think that's really valuable. It is. Because a lot of times people are afraid to show their flaws. Right. They're afraid to show their weaknesses. Yeah. But Cardone is like... This is who I am. This is who I am. Yeah. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. This is how I achieved success. Yeah. And you can too. If you're willing to. Put in the work. Put in the work. And follow my advice. Yeah. So I think that's a really empowering message. It is. For people who are maybe feeling... Lost. Lost or stuck. Yeah, or like they don't know... What to do. What to do with their lives. Right. Cardone's like... I got you. I got you. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Follow me. Follow me and you'll be successful too. Yeah. Now, whether or not you agree with his plan right. is up to you. Is up to you. But you got to admit he's got... A plan. He's got a plan. Yeah. He's not just like wandering around aimlessly. He knows what he wants. He knows what he wants. And he's going after it. Yeah. And that's inspiring. It is. Whether you like him or not. Right. You got to respect that. You got to respect the hustle. You got to respect the hustle. Yeah. So I think that's something we can all learn from is like have a plan. Have a plan. Know what you want. Know what you want. And go after it. And go after it. Relentlessly. Relentlessly. Don't give up. Don't give up. Until you get it. Until you get it. Right. Now, of course. Yeah. There are some potential downsides to this approach. Oh, yeah. As we've talked about. We've touched on a few. Yeah. Like it, it can be. Overwhelming. Overwhelming it can be. A little bit too aggressive. Too aggressive it can be. A little bit too much. Too much. Yeah. yeah. For some people. For some people. And it can also lead to some like. Ethical gray areas. Ethical gray areas. Right. Right. If you're not careful. If you're not careful. Yeah. You can end up crossing some lines. Yeah. You can end up like. Burning bridges. Burning bridges. Alienating people. Alienating people. And ultimately hurting yourself. Hurting yourself in the long run. In the long run. Yeah. So it's important to be mindful yeah. of those potential downsides. Of those potential downsides. And to make sure that you're not uh, Sac sacrificing your values, yeah. your integrity. In relationship. In the pursuit of success. Right. Because ultimately, yeah. success is about more than just money and fame and status yeah it's about living a fulfilling life living a fulfilling life then making a positive impact making a positive impact on the world on the world yeah. and that's something that i think cardone sometimes overlooks over overlooks or maybe doesn't emphasize enough yeah he's so focused on like the hustle the hustle the grind the grind the domination that he sometimes forgets about like the human side the human side of things yeah. the important connection connection and community collaboration collaboration yeah. and those are all things that are really important really important for long term success for long term success and for like happiness fulfillment so i think that's something we need to keep in mind yeah as we're kind of evaluating cardone's teachings yeah like it's not all about just like crushing it crushing it and dominating right it's also about like building something building something that's sustainable that's sustainable and that's meaningful and that's meaningful and that's going to make a positive impact on the world on the world yeah so i think that's a really important nuance nuance yeah to keep in mind to keep in mind as we're kind of diving into this cardone universe cardone universe because it's a it's a complex world it is it's full of contradictions it's full of contradictions it's full of like extreme extremes yeah. so you got to be careful you got to be careful you got to be discerning yeah you got to take what works for you right and leave the rest and leave the rest and always remember to be yourself be yourself yeah don't try to be grant cardone don't try to be grant cardone Unless you are Grant Cardone. Unless you are Grant Cardone, in which case... <laughs> carry on. Carry on. You're doing great. You're doing great. But for the rest of us, yeah. I think it's important to... Find our own path. Find our own path yeah. and to define success. Define success on our own terms. On our own terms. Yeah, and not just try to like... Copy someone else's formula. Copy someone else's formula. Right. Because 
what works for one person it might not work for another might not work for another so it's all about like experimentation experimentation yeah trial and error trial and error and figuring out figuring out what works for you what works for you and yeah. what doesn't and what doesn't right so i think that's a really important message yeah to keep in mind to keep in mind as we're kind of going through this deep dive right it's not about like finding the one right answer finding the one right answer <laughs> Yeah, it's like he's created this whole like ecosystem around his brand. Yeah, it's like he's not just selling you a product. He's selling you a lifestyle. Exactly. It's like the Grant Cardone way of life. Yeah, and I think that's really appealing to a lot of people. Totally, because it's like it gives you a blueprint for success. Yeah, it's like follow these steps and you'll be just like me. Yeah, and who doesn't want to be like Grant Cardone, right? Right, he's got the private jet, he's got the mansions, he's got the whole nine yards. He's living the dream. Yeah, he's living the dream. So it's like, okay... If I follow his advice, maybe I can have that too. Right. And I think that's the power of his brand. Yeah, it's aspirational. It's aspirational. It's motivating. Yeah. It makes you believe that anything is possible. Exactly. Yeah. And that's really powerful. Yeah. Especially in today's world where there's so much uncertainty and people are looking for like a sense of direction. Yeah. They're looking for someone to tell them what to do. Yeah. And Cardone's like, I gotcha. Here's the roadmap. Here's the roadmap. Follow me. Follow me and you'll be successful too. Yeah. And he's really good at marketing that message. Oh, yeah. He's a master marketer. Yeah. He's everywhere. He's on social media. He's doing interviews. He's writing books. He's inescapable. Yeah. You can't escape him. Which is part of his strategy, right? Right. He's all about like visibility and getting your name out there. Exactly. He's like, you got to be everywhere. Yeah. You got to be omnipresent. Omnipresent. I like that. Yeah. You got to be on people's minds all the time. Right. Because if they don't know who you are. They can't buy from you. They can't buy from you. Exactly. So it's all about like building that brand awareness. And building that trust. Yeah, building that trust so that when people are ready to buy. They think of you. They think of you. And they're like, oh yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy. I trust that guy. I've seen him everywhere. He must be legit. He must know what he's talking about. Yeah. So it's a very like savvy marketing strategy. It is. And it's clearly working for him. It's working big time. Yeah. So that's something we can all learn from is like the importance of building a strong brand. And being visible. And now. being visible, yeah. You got to get your name out there. Yeah, you can't just sit back and wait for people to find you. You got to go out there and hustle. You got to go out there and hustle. You got to make some noise. You got to make some noise. <laughs> you got to be the loudest voice in the room. Yeah, exactly. And that's what Cardone is really good at. Yeah, he's the master of noise. He is. Yeah. He knows how to get attention. He knows how to get attention. And he knows how to keep it. And that's a valuable skill. It is. Especially in today's world. Especially in today's world where there's so much competition. Yeah. Everyone's vying for attention. Everyone's trying to stand out. Yeah, so you got to figure out a way to cut through the noise. Exactly. And Cardona's figured out a way to do that. He has. So whether you like him or not. Right. You got to respect that. You got to respect the hustle. You got to respect the hustle. Yeah. You got to learn from it. And you got to learn from. Yeah. So what can we learn from Cardone's marketing strategy? Well, I think the biggest takeaway is that you got to be willing to put yourself out there. Yeah, you can't be afraid to, like, promote yourself. Right. You can't be shy. Yeah, you got to be your own biggest cheerleader. Exactly. Yeah. You got to be willing to toot your own horn. You got to be like, hey, look at me. I, I'm awesome. I'm amazing. Amazing. Check out what I'm doing. Check out what I'm doing. Because if you don't believe in yourself. Nobody else will. Nobody else will. Yeah, and I think that's something that Cardone really embodies. He does. It's like he's his own biggest fan. Yeah, he's got that unwavering self-belief yeah and that's contagious it is like when you see someone who's that confident and that passionate and it makes you want to believe in them too yeah it makes you want to be a part of it it makes you want to buy into whatever they're selling yeah and i think that's the key to his success totally is that he's created this like cult of personality around himself the cardone cult the cardone cult yeah where people are just like drawn to his energy. Yeah, they want to be a part of his world. They want to learn from him. They want to achieve the same level of success. And that's really powerful. Yeah, it's like he's built this empire. He has a on his personality. On his personality. And his ability to connect with people. Yeah, he's a master communicator. He is. He knows how to connect with people on an emotional level. Yeah, he makes you feel like he's talking directly to you. Yeah, like he gets you. Yeah. He understands your struggles. Your hopes, your dreams. Your fears. Yeah. And he's offering you a way out. A way to achieve everything you've ever wanted. Yeah, and that's a very compelling message. It is. Especially for people who are feeling lost or stuck. Yeah, he's like a beacon of hope. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> come on, follow me. I'll show you the way. I'll lead you to the promised land. The promised land of success. The promised land of wealth and abundance. Yeah, so that's a very powerful message. It is. And it's one that's resonating with a lot of people. Millions of people. 
millions of people. Yeah. So he's clearly doing something right. Yeah, he's onto something. He is. So what can we learn from all of this? Well, I think the biggest takeaway is that you got to be willing to be your own biggest advocate. Yeah, you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. You got to be passionate. You got to be passionate. You got to be enthusiastic. You got to be enthusiastic. You got to be willing to put yourself out there. You got to be willing to go the extra mile. Yeah, you got to hustle. You got to hustle. You got to grind. You got to grind. And you got to be consistent. You got to be consistent. Yeah, you can't just like... Do it for a week and then give up. Right. You got to be in it for the long haul. You got to be in it for the long haul. Because success doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't. It takes time. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes effort. It takes dedication. It takes dedication. And it takes a whole lot of hustle. Yeah. So if you're willing to put in the work. Yeah. And you're willing to follow Cardone's advice. Or at least some of it. Or at least some of it. Right. You can achieve anything you set your mind to. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. If you believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself. If you're willing to put in the work. And you're willing to put in the work. Yeah. So that's the Cardone message. That's the Cardone message in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Now, whether or not you buy into it is up to you. Is up to you. But you got to admit, he's got a point. He's got a He's doing something right. He's doing something right. And there's a lot we can learn from him. Yeah. Even if we don't want to be exactly like him. Right. We can still take away some valuable lessons. Definitely. About success, about business, about marketing, about life. About everything. About everything, yeah. So that's why I think it's important to study him. Yeah. To understand his methods. To understand his mindset. To understand his philosophy. Yeah. And to see what we can apply to our own lives. So our own lives, yeah. Yeah. And to our own business. To our own businesses. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to do here. Yeah. With this deep dive. With this deep dive. You're trying to unpack the Cardone phenomenon. Yeah. And see what makes him tick. See what makes him pick. And see what we can learn from him. And see what we can learn from him. Yeah. So that's our mission. Our mission. So let's keep digging. Let's do it. So we spent a lot of time with Grant Cardone, haven't we? Yeah. We've gone deep down the rabbit hole. Deep down the rabbit hole. That's a wild ride. It is a wild ride. That's for sure. So the big question is like after all of this... Does this stuff actually work? Right. Is it all hype or is there some substance to it? Yeah. Like, can you really apply these principles and become the next Grant Cardone? Right. Or is it just a bunch of smoke and mirrors? Yeah. And I think that's where things get interesting because Cardone has his fair share of critics. Oh, yeah. He's a polarizing figure for sure. Yeah. People either love him or hate him. Right. There's no middle ground. And his critics say that he's all about self-promotion. Yeah. That he's more interested in selling himself than in actually helping people. Yeah. They say he's just in it for the money. Yeah. And they point to his lavish lifestyle as evidence. Right. The private jets, the mansions, the fancy cars. It's all very over the top. Yeah. It's definitely not for everyone. But his supporters say that his methods have genuinely helped them achieve success. Right. They say he's a master motivator who inspires people to take action. Yeah. And they point to his own success as proof. Right. He built a multi-million dollar empire from scratch. So who's right? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Yeah. Is Cardone the real deal or is he just a master of hype? I think the truth probably lies somewhere in between. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. He's definitely a brilliant marketer and he's built a very successful brand. Yeah, he knows how to sell himself and he knows how to sell his ideas. But I also think there's some real value in what he teaches. Yeah, I agree. I think his principles of hustle, hard work and persistence are definitely valuable. Yeah. And his emphasis on sales is crucial. Absolutely, because at the end of the day, every business needs to sell something. Right. If you can't sell, you're not going to stay in business very long. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's something we can all learn from Cardone. Yeah. Even if we don't agree with everything he says. Right. Even if his style isn't for everyone. Yeah. There are still some nuggets of wisdom we can take away. Definitely. So what are some of those nuggets of wisdom? Well, I think one of the biggest takeaways is the importance of taking action. Yeah, Cardone's all about action. He's not just a talker, he's a doer. Yeah, he's constantly pushing himself and his team to take massive action. And I think that's something we can all learn from. Yeah, we can all be a little bit more proactive, a little bit more willing to put ourselves out there. Exactly. Another key takeaway is the importance of belief. Yeah, Cardone has an unwavering belief in himself and his abilities. And he believes that anyone can achieve success if they have the right mindset. Right, he says that success is a choice. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of truth to that. I agree. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Exactly. And if you don't believe that you can achieve something, you're probably not going to. So belief is crucial. Absolutely. And finally, I think one of the most important things we can learn from Cardone is the importance of persistence. Yeah, he's all about never giving up. 
He says that most people fail because they give up too soon. Right. They quit when things get tough. But Cardone says you got to keep going. You got to push through the challenges. You got to have that grit and determination. And eventually you'll break through. Yeah. It's like that saying, success is not, final failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Exactly. So I think that's a really powerful message. It is. And it's one that we can all apply to our own lives. Absolutely. Whether we're trying to build a business, achieve a personal goal, or just overcome a challenge. Persistence is key. It is. So that's Grant Cardone in a nutshell. A complex and contradictory figure. But also a very successful one. And one who has a lot to teach us. Yeah, even if we don't agree with everything he says, right? there's still a lot we can learn from him. Definitely. So I think that's a good place to wrap things up. Yeah, I think we've covered a lot of ground. We have. And I hope our listeners have found this deep dive insightful. Yeah, I hope they've learned a thing or two about Grant Cardone. And about themselves. And about like, themselves, yeah. Because at the end of the day, yeah. it's all about applying these principles to our own lives. And creating our own definition of success. Exactly. So that's it for this episode of The Deep Dive. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.